This video is going to help you with your journal on social change or your extra credit project um, in some of my classes. I want everyone to understand the four major reactions to social change. So we could take any social change, whether it's a technological change, a change in the acceptance of a certain group, um, a change in the economic structure, whatever the change is, and we could talk about it from all four of these perspectives. The first reaction to social change is the reactionary re reaction. A reactionary rejects the social change strongly and wants to go back in time to what they might perceive as the good old days. Others might perceive as a step backwards. Reactionaries are often violent in their expression and reaction to social change. Um, they reject the change completely and they are willing to use any means necessary to roll back the change, again, including some sort of violent action. If you are a conservative, your response to change is to try to minimize it, to try to keep change to the minimum, to preserve the traditions and the values. Do you wanna go back in time? Not way back in time, you might be willing to go back a little bit, but the idea to conserve means to keep something the way it is, right? So a conservative would say things are fine the way they are. We don't really need this change. To the extent that change occurs, it needs to be minimal or build off the traditions that we have. A liberal response to change would encourage people to accept the change. If you are a liberal, you believe that some change is necessary, that a society must evolve and adapt to new circumstances, you wouldn't say the entire system is broken, but you would say that some part of it is going to need to change to maybe, again, new circumstances like a new technology or a new group entering the society or a new group being accepted in the society or maybe some sort of thing that's beyond human control like climate change or a global pandemic. Um, a liberal would say we will have to change. Change is necessary for us to survive and adapt and thrive as people. So they accept some change, although they're not saying the whole system is broken. And that leads to the last response to social change. If someone is a revolutionary, they would say the entire system is broken. The system needs to be completely overhauled. We need massive social structural change. So a revolutionary is going to throw out the entire economic system. If you say capitalism is totally broken and we need a communist government, you would be a revolutionary. If you say, you know, we need to overthrow our democracy and our current constitution, that would be a radical revolutionary kind of change. So again, the four responses are reactionary, conservative, liberal, and radical. Radical is sometimes called rev revolutionary. So in order to think about some sort of social issue or social change, you should be able to talk about any change from all four of those vantage points.